I want to talk about how we can put one or two course materials on our content, I mean, on our courses. I need to also emphasize the fact that what makes you different from students on this course page is your capacity, is your privilege to add content, is your privilege to add study material, is your privilege to change some things on like the students. And the gateway to getting that done is this button here, this edit mode this edit button so i this is the way you will have it immediately you log in you will have it this way you wouldn't once you do a click on anything nothing happens you will be you will only be able to see you'll be able to read that as well you know the read what is there nothing you can't do anything on this you can't you've not been able to hide any topic you've not been able to hide anything okay now what gives you the privilege is now you come in here click on edit mode once you click on edit mode it will open the page for you this way now you see you have this very crucial button add an activity or resource because you use this, this very button very often okay mm -hmm. now in a situation i'm very sure on your own from your own and here you will not see study guide maybe you will see general i decided to use study guide in my home for example you know we are working on bus 211 it's somebody else course so it's not my course i'm just, we are just trying to play around it so the owner of the course please should please rework on all of these things okay so you have study guide i say study guide now so now i can i may decide not to put study guide i can use any other name like uh, the description is actually how to already students would have seen it then they because every course was designed with description if you want to walk around the description like uh, this course is this, this you come under settings here once you come under settings you will see the makeup of that course you see the course is both 211 elements of this very icon please i mean this very right up please don't touch it okay then you come here if you intend to add one or two things in the description this is where you are going to add it up Click A and hard, 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 as per, I'm talking about description, the course description. This is where you're going to add all of that. You want to change the picture. This is where you're going to change it and all of that. So click expand or once you click on expand, or if you are not a bit techy, please, you may have to leave all of this. We have, we have some level of development done, which should set you up for your course. But if you are the type that you still want to put one or two t your hand on it, and you can still go, go, go about it. But the point is that anything you make of your course is left to you, okay? Whichever way you design it is your own, okay? Now, let's come back to the course. What I intend to do now is let me change this one back to general. What I intend to do first and foremost is to have a list of all the topics I'm going to take the students, right? All the topics I'm going to take them, and I'll be using that by adding the session. Session in terms of topics, like for Boss 211, I have several topics I want to take them. Let's say there are seven, right? So I click on Add Session. Okay, you can see nothing is here. I click another one. By the right hand side, I mean by the left hand side, you'll be seeing new session. I click another one. You can see it's by the by the left hand side you can see them adding up right so if it is let's say i'm going to examine five topics right let's assume i'm going to examine five topics so yeah i think i'm okay now now i come to the first one what's the first topic instead of general this one i can just see general review but let's let's come here and use this for example the first one let's say i'm going to talk about demand the second one when you're done press enter you see, you can see it has changed here. Eh? The second one, I can say supply. Okay. So with this, once the students, when the students come to your course, at least they have seen on the list the topics you are going to take them just at a glance. They don't need to call any class whatsoever to come and tell them oh, what are the the course list. And if you have problem with this, you can. With setting this one up, you can discuss with your e tutor in charge. They will be able to guide you through. They will be able to get this done for you. So the ten, the next one, let me see, is elasticity. Elasticity of demand. I'm just saying, for example, just as, as I said, that we are just playing with somebody else's course here. Now the next one, let's say equilibrium. 
equilibrium and all of that so let me see these are the topics i want to take right now if this is i'm limiting my course to only this for and i wish to have this one deleted i'll just come here and delete this and delete so i have four topics that i'm going to take so under general here i mean intend to have announcements for students okay so instead of general i'll just say announcements right after typing announcement i simply click on enter now this is where i'm going to put my an an announcement and they will the announcement will be in form of forum okay to have a title then you make up the announcement if the announcement is is about let me say uh the the test if the announcement is about let's say the 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 lecture the day we are going to have lecture a change and all of that this is where you're going to put it so i can i can leave it as announcement the way it is or you can say update then click on it it will open the forum page for you so you have the top you look at this for example i've set this one up before so let me just unpin it okay now you can hide the topic test for this course this one i can say study or let me say i can put it this way for example i can say um yeah course content or area of concentration for this course that can that could be my topic then i would say add topic area of area of concentration for example okay then i come here i'll just type it these are the areas you should concentrate your readings for the exam on this course then i come up with one two three four five okay when i'm done i click on post to forum okay so now let's see let's see how this appears for students let's see how it appears so we are still coming to the right hand side here okay click on this button where it is not this edit button no this one this one right beside the your picture you see switch role you can interchange your role you want to see how will the student see what you have typed or how will the student see your course Just click on switch role immediately you do that it will give you the privileges you want to switch the role to students so that you will see it exactly the way students are seeing it then i click on students okay now you can see the way it appears for students area of concentration then they will see what i've typed you can see they cannot do anything right now i go back to the course the main course itself you can see it is no longer a barren course in the sense that we have the topics now and we have announcement here i, cl I click on the announcements as a student then it shows me uh look at test for this course then if i need to read about it you open it area of concentration you read it if you want if the student can choose to pin it like mark anyone star and all of those things okay this any announcement whatever that you have on the course this is where you put it we are going to have uh, a chat session on the course you put the announcement here so you simply tell the student go to your course i have an announcement for you you don't need to bother yourself every student will just go there they see the course they see the dates you put you put up the announcement all of them will see it and if they have reply to make they also make a reply to the, to the announcement they give you feedback on the announcements right in there now back to the course here i've put up the title i mean the now let me go back let me go back to my to my privilege as a lecturer you can see that edit button went off immediately i switched through to students that shows you that for students they wouldn't see anything edit button now let me return to my normal role return to my normal role now you see my edit button has come back but it is off so i got put i have to put it on again okay i click on this so that i will have my privileges back right now i want to upload 
study material for this course okay mind my words study material for this course not for this topic not for this topic not for this topic you know it is very possible for you to have material for specific topic you understand you may have material for demand you may have material for supply and all of those things right now i want to upload material for this course okay i'm not going to put the material under any of these demand supply i'm going to put it right on top here before labeling of those topics before mentioning the topics okay that you can put up a test you can put activities on this topic put activity on this topic put that so but we are uploading the course material that covers all the topics so it has to be on top here i click on add an activity what i'm what i want to upload is a pdf document or microsoft word document whatever document that you want to upload this is where you have them you have an activity you had an activity you you have you 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 have the course material developed maybe in pdf you have it developed in word and whatever you want to upload this you're going to use this file file okay you use it very very often so you can just click on this star so that it will, it will give you to be a straightforward uh, access for you so click on the file immediately you click on the file then it opens up this page for you then you can just see reading material for this course okay now when you're done with that you can click on expand so that you will see all of the hidden buttons okay now display description on the course page you might choose to then you can put on that description click to download or read the study material material for this course below or oh, let's let's leave it whichever way it appears okay now this is where you are going to upload the, the material this button here this first one or you just simply drag and drop okay but i'm going to do hard okay once you do that then come to upload the file choose the file please if this becomes too technical for you contact the tutor in charge of your department okay now let me see what sort of document do i want to upload it's a pdf document you definitely know where your own document is on your on your device so you you simply go there straight up okay let me see this is mine okay this is the document i want to upload i upload the document okay the document is there already if you look at it right here now what is the performance like how is it going to display this is where you're going to determine it i want to embed it embed in the sense that i want people to be reading it directly or if i want them to download it or i want them to it i want it to open or i want it to be a pop-up whichever way you want it okay you decide it you decide it you can play around it use embed see how it appears that's the reason i showed us how you can switch your role so that you will see how it how it plays out as a student you see how it plays out as a lecturer okay now let me say I'm I'm going to use I'm going to use uh let me use embed okay then show file size you might choose to then the date you might choose to cause on page certainly yes cause on page then when you're done you come down you don't need all this you don't need all this when you're done then you click save and return to call course you can see, use save and display if you so desire now look at the course material here right before the topics now let's see how it appears at the other hand for students I, I went back to switch my role as a student right switch role as a student as a student okay now look at the way students will have it reading material for this course you see the text formats txt now click to download then the student can simply do a click like this now look at the material here 
This is simply because I use embed. This is the way embed will appear. So students will just be able to see the material like this. So it will show them if it is PDF, they can be reading the material from here. Okay, that's how to add content to your material, I mean to your courses. So in a situation where what you want to tell them, let me go back to my role as a lecturer. In a situation where what you want them to know or what you want to upload is meant for a particular topic, you can simply put it under this topic. Let me go back to my edit mode. If you want it to be under any particular topic, you simply do all that we did here. You come here and do add an activity. Then you click on file. Under all, you see file here. But I've, just as I told us that we are going to play around this a whole lot. So I will advise you, once you get to this star, I mean to this file, click on the star. So it will just create, just like from the pool of other resources, it will separate them that these are the ones that you have started. They are the ones that you work very prominently with. You are also going to be using this quiz. You are also going to be using this text. You are going to be using this URL very prominently. You are going to be using page. You might be, yeah, you are going to use forum. Um, you might, yeah, you are going to be using book, choice, assignments, yeah, it might be using folder as well. So once you click on add an activity, you see it has given me those ones as I indicated as star. So I don't need to come here and start looking for it here again. Okay, they are already here. So what I want to do now is I want them to listen to a particular video on this topic demand. Okay, I'll just come here, click on URL. Okay, now. First and foremost, I click on expand all. And I can just say, listen, listen to this video on the topic, on this topic. Okay. Well, what's the link going to be like? Okay. Let's assume that I have the lecture video. I want to add it all. I want to upload the video so that students will have access to it. I simply go to the video, get the link first. So this is our YouTube channel. You can see we have... A whole lot you see 709 videos and look at the number of people that are, are subscribers on the lecture video these are the works that we have done before which our students are exploring okay let me pick I'm just going to use this as an, as an example it will not relate it will not it, it, it won't be near any perfection whatever so let's assume that this is the lecture video that I want the student to have access to Okay, all I need is this link, the link to the video. I simply copy it, then come back to Boss 211 and paste the link. Paste the link. Uh, next, virtual class will be to discuss concepts, examine by the lecturers, a lecturer of this. Yeah, of this video, of the video. Yeah, okay. Then I will put display. Now, how do you want it? Put embed so that they will be able to see it. You might choose open to. You might choose pop up. Okay, let me even choose pop up. Okay. Now, it will tell you the frame. How do you want? You can leave it the way it is. Language, leave language and all that, all that, all that. Then you come down. I click and, and do a click on save and return to course. You see, that one is under the demand because it is it was specifically meant for demand. In a situation where you mistakenly put what is not supposed to be here under it, you can simply do a drag. You can see it is moving it. In a situation where this thing is not actually meant for demand, it was actually meant for supply. Simply bring it down to supply. You can see it, it has been moved, but it, we actually plan to have it under supply. It has come to supply. Okay, now let me see how it appears from the student end. I click on this switch role. Please, all this, if you have problem with them, you might not bother yourself. Just meet the editor in charge of your, of your department, then they can walk you through it. Now, you can see what we have seen, we are, what we did. We were able to add the course material, 
we were able to have the lecture video now let's see how it appears you see see the lecture video here so the student would right here be able to listen to the lecture video so if if in the station we have yeah in the station where you have listened to one particular video and you find the video to be very relevant to any topic you can bring it up here one thing is that you may not have all the time coming here but students have all the time because that is what they paid for right for any topic you can imagine you you have given so much through virtual class you saw a video that is very relevant you drop it here you saw a material that is relevant you drop it here and the same thing you are going to do when you meet face to face there is no way the student will fail okay so that's how to explore the course page how this the next video i'll be talking about the assessment parts of the learning management system thank you